Welcome to a healthy living video blog at WorkoutMaster.com. This is Ruben. And you know Aaron. Uh, today we're going to talk about microwaves. Uh, about dangers of microwaves, benefits of microwaves. Um, before we tear this one apart, we're going to next episode about ACG diet. I'm sure you've heard of it. We're going to talk about that too. Let's uh, talk about microwaves, man. You got it. <clears throat> Why do we use microwaves? Where do they come from? What kind of you know health role or position do they fill in our lives, and why should we not use them? That's the main objective of the of the episode today, because there's a lot of hidden dangers within the microwaves. Although we use them every day, I don't particularly, but they're used on common day life, you know, to heat up our food, to prepare some food, even to cook some of the food that we might be ingesting. The biggest benefit of microwave. It's time. In today's society, when we keep rushing to do everything faster, 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 and faster, when you tell clients to use something else besides microwave, people kind of get startled for, for a second. They're like, what else can I use? Uh, a stove, for example. You can use a stove, it's a little bit longer, but guess what? It is a whole lot safer. It's a lot safer from the perspective that it does not damage the food. There's many studies and we have the information to back that up, by the way, for all of you skeptic authors, that, uh, that demonstrate how the food, you know, when it's hit up with, in a microwave, how it violently shakes the molecules of that food to a degree that actually restructures the molecule of the food, making it unrecognizable for the, for the body itself to make something of use. In light of the last uh, episode that we did uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, on non-foods, this goes along with it because you can actually put something that is fairly healthy to your body or actually downright healthy and uh, cook it in a microwave and completely disrupt the, uh, the molecular structure of that food, making it, like I said before, unrecognizable to the body, therefore leading to many other you know, uh, aspects of, of contributing to your demise. You know guys, um, I grew up in the Soviet Union and uh, we never had microwaves back before, you know, perestroika and stuff like that. Uh, I never really knew why uh, until I came here and I started studying uh, a lot more about health and I figured out why. Apparently Soviet Union conducted the studies on microwave and figured out that they're cancerogen uh, so they can create potentially uh, a lot of damage for your body, specifically it has something to do with cancer, cancer related uh, trouble. Uh, so they were actually banned in Soviet Union uh, and that's why we didn't have them. Uh, excellent studies published, uh, a lot of good information out there. We're not gonna, if you're interested, we'll, we'll shoot you an email with a, a reference material. Uh, but uh, what you want to know about microwave is that microwave actually hits up the food from inside out. It changes the structure of the food. It changes the nutrient content of the food. From the food, it becomes definitely a non-food. Not only that, it actually creates semi radioactive food yeah well i don't know if it will be semi radioactive or not but it does does change the molecular structure mm -hmm. and then in itself it actually is is detrimental to your health because you're not eating a wholesome food it's something that has already been damaged by a very strong uh, molecular uh, movement yeah. it, it moves this, the molecules I don't know I, I mean I forgot the number it doesn't really matter but it does at such a speed that actually everything becomes kind of rearranged yeah absolutely <clears throat> uh, so be very careful if you want to save time save time on something else there's no reason to save your time and food right I mean we we gotten to the point we don't know where the food is made we don't know who produced it how they produce it now we don't even know how the hell we're cooking it so at some point it's actually going to backfire and backfire pretty bad so try to eliminate all these things out of your diet right. just get rid of them don't even think about it forget about it. like the microwave doesn't exist you can use them as good storage i think uh, a good storage yeah that's what i do the thing that you have on top you use it as a storage great cupboards guys uh, we want to give you like a healthy option, of course. Use thermos and use any type of you know thermal box that you can carry your food uh, hot throughout the day. I understand, you know, where we live is actually pretty warm all year round. It goes from really warm to really hot. And uh, I, up, up north, for example, where I originally came from, you know, it's actually much more appetizing to eat food in the winter time when it's when it's actually warm. But use a different form of, of heating up your food or cooking your food for the matter other than the microwave. There's plenty of, of uh, portable uh, and small ovens, like a pizza oven that they have that you can have in your office, 
you should be carrying all your, all your food that you carry to work on a glass, on a ceramic container, so you can go directly right into the oven to heat up your food. When it comes to having your snacks or your lunch time or your dinner or whatever food you're actually having outside of the house in your place of work. Yeah, <clears throat> especially if you work, you only have a microwave, I would highly recommend to go to your employer and say, hey, you know, if you care about my health, because I do care about my health, I would highly recommend you to put something else out here so I can heat up my lunch and eat it and enjoy it and be healthy and keep working for you for many years to come. Absolutely. Um, if you're in the lunchroom and somebody turns off the microwave very uh, quickly, get out of the room because it's going to actually spread a radiation column for about four, uh, four uh, feet of distance and you don't want to be caught there because it can actually begin to actually mutate some of the genes in your body and that's the last thing you need. Alright guys, that's it for microwaves. Uh, stay away from them. We don't recommend them. Don't have anybody heat up your food in them because oftentimes in restaurants they heat up the food on microwaves. It's much easier to put them in the oven. It takes a lot less time so they can do the job more efficiently. And I know plenty of uh, restaurant kitchens that have up to 20 microwaves on, on a wall and I've seen those. By the way, for people that say you know, the microwaves are safe, there's a lot of studies done that they are not safe. I can tell you this much, by heating up your food on the oven, nobody conducted the studies that they're unsafe, so it's always safe, so it's guaranteed, and therefore that's the way to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's it guys, if you're not going to use a microwave, then your future is going to be looking a whole lot better. Thank you very much for watching our video blog, until next time.